Today we have something special. Today we have the first Leviathan from Distant Stars. We're going to be talking about the Scrapper Bot. Now the Scrapper Bot hides in a system that is completely and totally filled, as the name already suggests, with scrap as it roams around the system very similarly to the automated dreadnought of uh, the Leviathan's expansion. It roams around with its three little helpers scavenging the systems and all of the wreckage inside. As you enter the system, you will find yourselves with a pop-up that says, well, there is something big in this system and it's uh, scavenging things and it is, in fact, gargantuan. So from a layout perspective, the Scrapper Bot, or Modulus, as it's referred to in the game, is rather interesting. It's got a ton of hull points, clocking in over 110,000 armor. It's almost 70k shields. It's nearing 80. Its speed is decent. It's kind of cruiser battleship speeds, so not all that amazing. Its evasion is absolute garbage and does a overall damage of about 850 per cycle. Technology-wise, it's relatively low, clocking in a tier 3. However, its weapons are some of the most unique in the game. First off, there is the Scrap Launcher, a kinetic weapon that does somewhere between 5,000 and 10,000 damage per shot, which is more than enough to knock out a single battleship in one volley. Thankfully, it will only shoot every 21.75 cycles, which is okay. It has decent accuracy with 85%, so you can try to min-max your ships a little bit in order to potentially evade uh, the shot. Its tracking is awful, but its range of 150, whilst not within the scope of, say, a perdition beam, is pretty decent. It's on par with, say, a kinetic cannon. Overall, its damage is all right with 293 per cycle, a lot of shield damage, a reduction to armor damage, and a lot of hull damage. However, it comes equipped with a secondary weapon as well. Introducing the our scientists can make no sense of these. They are effectively torpedoes with a decent amount of hull points at 50, no evasion, 15 speed, which is probably one of the slowest torpedoes in the game, and a retargeting range of 100. So if they miss their target or the target no longer exists, they will retarget anything within a range of 100. It does a damage between 100 and 150, shoots incredibly fast at 2.10, which is, I think, one of the faster ones in the game, a decent accuracy of 80, as well as a tracking of 75, which it means can be overcome with Corvette Evasion, which, in my opinion, is probably the best way to overcome the quote-unquote modulus. The uh, Scrapper comes equipped with seven of these in addition to uh, the Scrap Gun, so be prepared to lose a couple of ships. Battleships in particular don't do particularly well versus the Scrapper Bot as its high damage primary uh, basically wrecks them relatively quickly. My opinion, a good idea is to bring a overwhelming amount of Corvettes with uh, Devastator Torpedoes as well as some sort of weapon that attacks hull immediately. Any sort of weapons in terms of disruptors work quite well. You only need a fleet of about 24k and that should do the job and then you will have destroyed the scrapper bot and then it's time to grab its loot once the scrapper bot has been destroyed you will be presented with a brand new system with about 20 uh, minerals in it which is rather nice also it looks very nice on the mantelpiece plus you will get two technologies and on top of that a bonus technology called the nanite repair system which is a upgraded version of the hull regeneration technology how daily hull regen goes up to plus three with a daily uh, armor regen going to plus four so if you're out in the field very uh, very often and you don't have too many stations to fall back on this technology is incredibly good and once again you can take the scrapper bot down with about 20 to 30 thousand fleet power just throw a bunch of corvettes at it and it will die relatively quickly 
This wraps up the mechanics video for the Scrapper bot. If you enjoyed this, feel free to give it a like and or subscribe. There is many more mechanics videos on the channel. And, of course, uh, if you want to see more, feel free to have a browse around. But in the meantime, I wish you all good luck with Distant Stars and the Scrapper bot. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and, as always, each other.